everybody, my name is Ashley Age, and yes, you have read the title correctly. This is a reaction video to The Perfect Pair. Now, let me explain because I know you're probably like really confused. Um, I did say I wasn't going to do reaction videos anymore, and that is still true. I, I don't plan on doing the whole entire, every single week, doing that kind of thing. But I've been wanting to get back into it for a really good episode for a while. And I've been waiting for that episode where I could watch one. The reason why I stopped is that the time commitment is super crazy with my editing software. It takes forever to export. It was like way too much trouble than what it was worth. Uh, also, the season just wasn't that good. It wasn't great. Like, I liked the fandom more than I liked the show at that point. But the season with the 100th episode and the Crusaders of the Last Mark marks like a really good point in history and I just feel like it hasn't lived up to that until then. But I have heard that this episode is one of the best episodes of MLP ever. And the last time someone told me that was Crusaders of the Last Mark and you all know how that worked out is that I was a mess and it was beautiful and it's still one of my top episodes ever. So we are going to watch The Perfect Pair together as a little special treat for you guys. Um, just so you know, I'm putting this on my main channel, but I'm also putting this on my side channel so that if any copyright issues occur with my main channel, I can just delete it and you'll have it on my side channel. It doesn't have to be like it's gone forever because I'm going to put it on both channels to start with so that if it's taken down, then it'll be on the other channel as well. So I hear this is really feelsy. Uh, I hear that I'm gonna cry, which I'm kind of excited for because if you know me, you like, you know that I like feelsy stories. I wrote Remembrance. I mean, it's kind of uh, self-explanatory why I like the feels. So I'm really excited for the feels. Um, I hear there's a song uh, that was unavoidable because that was everywhere. There was a dang song. Even Silver Swirls was like, there's a song! And I was like, oh, okay, thanks, cool. But I'm excited because there's a song. And there's going to be feels. So this should be a great episode. I'm really excited. Um, all right. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling because I've been rambling for about 30 minutes. And <laughs> we're going to start the episode. All right. Ready? In five, four, three, two, one. All right. We got Bon Bon in the background. We got Pones, Pear Man. Oh, thank you. You must be new. I'm Apple Bloom. I'm Grand Pear. Welcome to Ponyville. Grand Pear. Oh, you mean welcome back to Ponyville? Grand Pear was originally from here before he opened his famous pear gym. Apple Bloom's like, Vancouver. I'm a child. Why'd you move back? I I don't know who you are. Well, I needed a change of pace. Huh. That's just delicious. I can't believe I've gone my whole life without ever having this. I'm glad you like it. How much? No. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Grand Pear, sir. Wow. It was real nice meeting you. Glad you're back, Sugar Cube. Just in time for breakfast for dinner. I got the perfect topper for flapjacks at the market today. <gasps> Pear oh no! What were you thinking? Wait, how did Jam. The big deal is that there is a long-standing feud between the apples and the pears. Oh man. <clears throat> yep. Why? Why? Well, uh, actually, I, I'm I'm not really <laughs> sure. You have any idea, Big Mac? Uh, nope. Then I guess we should ask Granny. Ask me what? Uh, what goes better with apple fritter flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? <laughs> praline. <laughs> Oh, it smells great, Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Be right back. 
Listen, Sugar Cube. Anytime Big Mac and I ever ask Granny about the feud or the pears, she'd get so upset she couldn't talk. Best not bring it up. She's gonna bring it up. Okay, but that Grand Pear was really nice to me, even though I'm an apple. I wonder what happened. Me too. But if we can't ask Granny, I don't know who... We can ask Goldie Delicious. If any pony knows about the feud, it's the family historian. I'm in. What do you say, Big Mac? Sibling trip first thing tomorrow? <clears throat> yep. Hmm. Our house is still looking pretty, uh, pretty, uh, what's the nice word to put it? And her cats. Now that's how you make an entrance. Or is it an exit? <laughs> well, anyway, it's so wonderful to see you. Three. It's so nice to see her back, because she was in that, um, where well, Pinky was her cousin we episode. Hoping you could tell us about the uh, uh, feud with the apples and the pears. Oh, oh dear. Oh. But does Granny Smith know you're here? No, ma'am. But I ran into Grand Pear yesterday and he was real nice. Maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something and we can fix it? Uh, well, I don't know about that, little one. But if it's the story you're after, I, I suppose you have a right to know. Let's see here. I've got a stack of books here someplace. Oh, Apple Family History, Volume 137. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Feud with the bears. I mean, pears. My eyes ain't what they used to be. <laughs> a long time ago, Sweet Apple Acres wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. In fact, there was another one just right next door. <laughs> Time to get your apples. Nothing sweeter than biting into a crisp apple on a beautiful fall day. Is that Grady Smith? Unless, of course, you could bite into a juicy pear. <laughs> Please. Pears are just what happens when you ain't no good at farming apples. Pears are nature's candy. Is that young apples Granny are, Smith? Uh, sour. Like the expression so on your face right now. <laughs> and so it went. The granny and grand pair were always at each other. And who was the best farmer? Who took better care of their trees? If granny read to her trees at night... Oh, there's Nightmare Moon. And then the little tree reached its branches up to the moon. And the moon said, good night. She reads to her trees. Why then, grand pair had special blankets made for his trees so they wouldn't get cold. Good night, trees. I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. Little weird. Like, I'm not judging. This is a little weird. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. Huh. Oh, I see what you did there, show. Did a pun. Bright Macintosh and pear Oh, my God. Psst. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm not supposed to talk to you either. My mom says if you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow. But it doesn't work on me. See? Does it work on me? It sure does, Buttercup. Yeah. Buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Brat Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname your father gave your mother. Pear Butter. Well, that was her given name. Are you saying our mother was a pear? Oh, no, not a pear. So we are half pear? I can't believe it. How did we not know? Well, no pony called your mother pear butter. And her cutie mark was a preserved job, but pear butter don't look too much different from apple butter, so no clues there. <sighs> Is there anything else you can tell us about them? I know they loved each other very much. They had that magical, star-kissed, other side of a rainbow kind of love. You couldn't be around them too long and, and not feel a little bit lighter than air yourself. <laughs> Anything else? Hmm. I'd need volume 138 for that. I'm sure I could wrangle it in a, in a couple of days. That's all right, Goldie. It was nice just to hear it. Oh, 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 I just remembered something. Your dad and his buddy Burnt Oak would get in all kinds of trouble together as colds. Burnt Oak? The firewood sales pony? <laughs> I haven't seen him in ages. He and your dad were thick as thieves back in the day. Y'all should talk to him. Ooh. 
Well, well, if it isn't the apple, what can I do for you? I know you're not here for firewood. You got more trees than any pony in Ponyville. You're right, but we're not here for that. Very punch looking Come at the Come to ask about tree. your dad? Uh, yep. Well, I wondered if you might. Hoped you would. It's nice to talk about <laughs> We had a lot of laughs. In fact, this one time, well, we were racing to see who could till the fastest, and Bryce Mack was leading me in the dust. He would have won, too, if he wasn't so distracted. <laughs> oh! Pear butter, what did you do? I, I'm not sure. You didn't do it, sir. Excuse me? The water silo. It was my fault. <laughs> well, you owe me a new silo, boy. And you? Come with me. No daughter of mine is gonna make Google eyes at an apple. Oh, they're cute. Grandpa never would have known it was your father's fault. But there was no way he'd let your mother take the blame for something he did. So Dad was super honest. Apple doesn't fall far from a tree, huh, <laughs> Jack? Your dad worked the apple farm all day and then headed over the pears on his brakes to fix the water silo. I didn't see him for weeks. Not that he minded. Gave him a chance to get to know your mom. <laughs> did you know our mom, too? Buttercup was a real peach of a pear. But if you want to know more about her, you should ask Mrs. Cake. Mrs. Cake? She and your mom were inseparable when they were fiddling. Then let's go. The fact that they don't know any of this is kind of sad. Like they don't know that they're friends with the firewood Would it guy. Would be okay if we stopped by again sometime Mrs. Cake. to hear more stories? I'd like that very much. No. I saw a book horse in the background. Book horse. Well, cinnamon sugar on toast. All three apple siblings. Hi, Mrs. Cake. We heard you and our ma used to be real good friends, and we were hoping you could tell us a bit about her. Oh, I would love to. I never knew the right time to bring it up, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh, for starters, did you all know that it was your mom who convinced me to pursue baking? But isn't your name Mrs. Cake? <laughs> Not always. Back when I was Chiffon Swirl, <laughs> I had no idea what I was supposed to do. But one day, your mom brought me some candy pears, eggs, flour, sugar, and vanilla, and told me to just be creative. Next thing I knew, I was whipping up pear upside down cake, and I got my cutie mark. It was like she knew what I was supposed to do long before I did. Just like you, Sugar Cube. Or rather, <laughs> you're just like her. <laughs> that was the first of many cakes for me. And Buttercup was with me through it all. Oh, she young cake. Tester, help with the decorating. And prep new ingredients. Over the years, I perfected my recipes. Your mom did so much for me. One day, I wanted to surprise her with a cake. <laughs> Aww. <gasps> oh, it's just you. Sorry, I just brought you a little something to say thank you. But I see you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> Promise he won't say anything? What in tarnation are you doing, Brad Mac? We do not fraternize with pears! You and Bright Mac? Oh, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Your families hate each other. I can't help it. We just sort of 
happen. No. Thin Pear Butter told me the sweetest love story I have ever heard. Happy 131,456 hour anniversary, darling. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's way longer than we've been together. I know, but it's the anniversary of the first time I called you Buttercup. It's okay. It's so cute. <laughs> Actually, I did. A guitar for me, but I don't know how to play. Quiet, you. Here comes the song. We're far apart in every way, but you're the best part of my day. And sure as I breathe the air, I know we are the perfect pair on a prickly path that goes on for miles. But it's worth it just to see. Wow, it's just Aww. Do you like it? Do you like it? It's the best gift you can so cute. The seasons change and leaves may fall, but I'll be with you through them all. And rain or shine, you'll always be mine. On a prickly path that goes on for miles. You're the only one. should not blame me too if I can't help falling in love with you. Oh. Hey, no fair. I was gonna tell you the same thing. You're just mad I beat you to it. I'm telling you, I was gonna pull you up, cover your eyes, lead you over here, and say surprise! Oh. Is that rock still there? Say, oh, right, Mac, I love it. And then I'd say, I love you. Too bad it didn't work out, though. Yep, too bad. Oh, they're so cute. The pears are moving. <gasps> I mean, I figured the pears moved, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpa. It must have been really hard on our parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Vancouver? But that's so far. It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land and a warehouse to make our jams. We'll get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Pear Butter was devastated. Uh, seeing no way out of it, she did what she had to do. So that's it? What do you want me to do, Brat Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any pony do. What? 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 We're gonna need one more pony to tell that story. Mrs. Cake! Mayor, you knew our parents? Not as well as Mrs. Cake, but I did play a part in their love story. The night before the Pear family moved, Bright Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. I don't want to be apart from you, ever. Oh. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. <laughs> I would too. That's so cute. I think that's my cue. I had the honor of officiating your parents' secret oh. wedding, and it was perfect. Bright Mac knew Buttercup wouldn't want a big splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> So they had a special way to seal their vows. I now pronounce you. What is going on? What's with all these hair pins? Granny. Hair butter. Stop. Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. What are you two doing? Getting married. <laughs> Awkward moment. Ma, grandpa, 
Buttercup and I are in love. What? And we'll be married as soon as Mayor Mayor says, Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Doesn't that feel nice? What are you talking about, Mary? You two can't be married. Finally, something we can agree on. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving. You gotta stick with your family. But the apples are my family now, too. You can't be serious. Are you choosing to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? No. Yes, I am. Then yeah, I guess I am. Fine! <laughs> I can't believe Grandpa just up and left Ma like that. No wonder Granny never told us about any of this. These things are never easy. And it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any. To talk to both our grandparents. Excuse me, grandpair? I'm Applejack, and this year's Big Macintosh. But you already know who we are, don't you? Sure do. Did you really move to Ponyville just for a change of pace? No. Then you came here because you're sorry and you want to get to know us too? I'm... So sorry. I, I, I was just so angry, and, but I, I never. It's in the past, Grandpa. Oh. oh, can I call you Grandpa Pear? <laughs> sure can. Now, where'd you all get to? I ain't seen hide or hair you all day. We've been all over learning about our parents, the <laughs> you have, <laughs> and our grandfather. So, you're back, hmm? Sure am. <sighs> Never should have left. Finding you and learning all about Mom and Dad, I feel like I found a piece of me I didn't even know was missing. Hearing their story makes me feel closer to them somehow. I'm sorry. I should have told you all about them sooner. And I should have been here. Nah. I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Nothing's keeping you from us now. Let's not miss anything else. Applejack's right. Welcome back, prickly old pear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you old crab apple. <laughs> now that we're all together, there's something we want to show you. Mom and Dad left us something to remember them by. Come on! <laughs> Aww. It's beautiful. It's impossible. If anything's gonna make it through, it's apples and pears. <laughs> it was so cute. say that they're dead but they're probably dead it just it makes it even more impactful in, in a way and this is a good episode <laughs> this, is, this is a good episode I don't think I would say it's above Crusaders of the Last Mark because that one was like top for me but this one is pretty close it's it's pretty good um I'm glad I saw it I'm glad I saw it with you guys. Um, you probably saw me squeal. Um, 
I don't I don't know what to say. The song was flippin' adorable. The surprise wedding. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Um, it's so cute. Hopefully, we'll be seeing more of uh, Grandpa and uh, Granny together, or as a family, or when we have an Applejack episode. And, you know. Oh, hey, we had an Applejack episode that wasn't absolutely terrible. Let's let's clap click for that. I mean, because you know that Applejack episodes are not always the great, okay? They're not always great. So this was a nice surprise, but um, thank you so much for watching this with me. Um, I'm glad I did a reaction for you guys. I will definitely be covering the new song, but I have to wait for the instrumental. I wait for Rain Shadow, who is a fantastic YouTuber who I get all my instrumentals from because they are fantastic and lovely. So I have to wait until they put their instrumental track out and then I can cover the song. But until then, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.